This was my receipt. I did not come to play games, okay? I came to win. Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel, and if you're new here, hi, I'm Marika, and I went to Sephora on the weekend, and that's why we're here today. So as you can see by the title of this video, the thumbnail, and literally everything I just said, this is going to be a Sephora haul, although I do have a couple things from Urban Outfitters as well, and shoppers, and everything like that. So I guess there's not much else to say about this video, you're just going to see for yourself, but before we do hop into the video, don't forget to hit the subscribe button down below if you like what I'm doing here on my channel channel and without further ado let's just get started the first thing that I want to mention because I'm obsessed with it and I know I said I wasn't gonna buy this in one of my anti hauls and I wasn't going to until I swatched it in store and like lost all of my marbles but it is the Anastasia Beverly Hills Aurora glow kit I was like I am not gonna buy this I'm not interested oh, these colors are too crazy for me I'm never gonna wear them Oh my god, let me just swatch these for you, okay? They look totally unwearable, especially for somebody as pale as myself. First of all, look at this. Oh my lord. The pigmentation is insane. So, we're gonna go in with Luna, Helia. I've never tried duochrome highlighters before, but I'm wearing them on my cheeks today, and I've been wearing them ever since I got them, and I'm obsessed. Love, 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 love it. I now know that I can wear them, so it's awesome. We're gonna put a little bit of Eclipse right here, gorgeous, and then a little bit of Lyra on top. Can't even comprehend it, mind blown out of the world. So yeah, I ended up buying that and I, I don't regret it. <laughs> the next thing that I see here is also from Anastasia Beverly Hills and it is their St. Tropez lip gloss. I wanted to see this, or I wanted to get this ever since I saw it on Trend Mood 1 Instagram. It is just this gorgeous pink with goldish shifts in it. I will do a little swatch for you because it's just so beautiful. So pretty. I find it's just like the prettiest summer color because it's just, it has that gold in it. It's kind of like a peachy gold. Absolutely beautiful and I'm so excited to try and wear this all the time. Also, I just want to mention that I don't find their glosses to be sticky whatsoever. Uh, maybe like a tiny bit of tackiness, but that's about it. I don't find it to be like overly grossly sticky or anything like that, which is amazing because nobody likes that as far as I'm concerned. So I ended up repurchasing one of my brushes to do my brows with and it is just the Anastasia 7B brush. It's really nice, dense angled brush. Really enjoy it. There's a brush on this side and a swoopily on this side. Whoops, dropped it. Would it really be a Marika Jade video if I didn't drop something? You know what I'm saying? I bought myself a new Anastasia at Beverly Hills Dip Brow Pomade in the shade Ash Brown just because I needed a new one because mine is all dried up and there's like only like corners left but I got... I'm a disaster. I got more of these bad boys. Love. Love this brow product. Obsessed! And the last thing that I got from Anastasia Beverly Hills is their Clear Brow Gel because I wanted to try it for a long time. So many people rave about this, so I was like, I probably need it in my life, so I'm going to buy it. And so I did, and I do really actually enjoy it. It keeps it everything in place, keeps my brows looking fleeky as heck, and I love it. The next thing that I picked up is the Stila Magnificent Metals in the shade Sea Siren. It's one of the duochrome ones. Ooh. And it just looks like this. It's like pink with some blue shifts. Absolutely beautiful. I'm not going to swatch everything just because we're going to be here for like three years if I do. And um, as much as I'd love to talk to you for three years, I don't think anybody has the time for that. And I don't think I would have the time to edit that. My window's open and cars drive by sometimes. I apologize. <laughs> The next things that I see are just pretty much staring me in the face, and um, for those of you who don't know, Smashbox went cruelty free, what? Just very recently this year, they went cruelty free, so I was like, oh, I can use their stuff. So I got two Smashbox products, I got the, it's like their metal lip things, I find them a little bit heavy, but they're not unbearable whatsoever, so I got Moth Squad, and Crimson Chrome and they're absolutely gorgeous on the lips. It's incredible and I love these and I kind of want every color because once I like something I'm like I want every single one of them. I just I can't live without having every single one in my collection. Very quickly speaking about cruelty free items. I will no longer be talking about items that are not cruelty free on my channel here. Simple as that I won't be talking ow. I won't be talking about them. I did buy a couple of NARS products. However, they just decided to uh, expand to China. 
and they had a very nice Instagram post that was very, very hypocritical and very back and forth and didn't make any sense to me and I'm a little bit salty. <laughs> I love NARS. Uh, I did buy the products before, I did buy and use the products before finding out they're no longer cruelty free and uh, when you buy things in store at Sephora you can only return them in store and I don't have a Sephora anywhere near where I live. Uh, so I'm just going to use them up, never purchase from them again. They talk about how they care about animal rights and how they agree that it needs to stop but they also they just need to expand to China, like they have no choice. But yeah, I did buy a couple of NARS products, you're never going to see them, I'm never going to talk about them, so yeah. Anyways, back to the good stuff. I got ooh, a Cover FX primer, it is just the mattifying primer with salicylic acid in it. Uh, it's like an anti-blemish primer as well, which is awesome because it can do two things at once, mattify and also treat breakouts, which is marvelous just lovely it has a really nice consistency it's a little bit like silicone-y but also kind of creamy hard to explain I really do enjoy this though I find it makes my makeup go on really nicely I do wish that it had more pore filling properties to it but I can always get another primer to fill in my pores and everything like that so it's no problem I love how this performs this I have not tried out yet so I might do first impressions on it but it is the Marc Jacobs Remarkable Full Coverage Foundation in the shade Ivory Light 10 the lightest shade that they offer because I am a pale pretzel I'll show you what it looks like now that you haven't seen it before oh this is the first time I see it out of the box I have not even taken this out of the box but it is gorgeous it has a nice little um applicator thingy here very nice I've heard really, really good things about this, so I'm really excited to try it out. This eyelash is really bothering me. I hope it's not bothering you as much as it's bothering me. Anyways, I got this. So I'm going to save that for a rainy day. There is another foundation in here that I'm currently using and absolutely adoring. So we're going to look at that. Sorry for the noise. I'm just trying to shove this back into its box. Speaking of foundations, the one that I'm using currently is the Hourglass Vanish Stick. And the reason why I mainly wanted to try this is one... My good friend here on YouTube, Aspen Elizabeth, talked about it in a first impressions video and I was like, girl, I need to get me some of that. So I did. And thank you for your suggestion, girl, because oh my goodness. It's amazing. I love it. Absolutely just out of this world. Pow. I love it so much. Use this every day. I have the shade Alabaster. It's good for the summer, but I think in the winter I'll have to go with Blanc because I'm very, very pale. But yes, this is amazing. Obsessed. I love this so much, it blends out like a dream, and you do get quite a bit of product in here as well, so it just looks like this. It does have a bit of a, oh my god, it does have a bit of a heftier price tag, um, but that's just a given with Hourglass products. So pleased about this. Love this foundation. So, from Tarte, oh my gosh, I have to stop trying to do tricks. From Tarte, I got their Amazonian Clay 12 Hour Blush in the shade Exposed, recommended by Sarah Anxious Barbie here on YouTube. And yes, I just find it very pretty. It's like this really nice neutral pinky color. It just adds like a really nice flush to the cheeks um, without being some kind of crazy blush color. Because if you've been here for any amount of time, I've likely mentioned that I don't like wearing blush because I don't like how blush looks on my cheeks. But I'm wearing this today and I think it looks very nice on me because you can't see a lot of it. <laughs> the second last thing I got was the Too Faced Glitter Glue. The girls at Sephora tried this on me, on my hand with glitter, and I was blown away. I was very reluctant, reluctant, reluctant to buy this, but I think this is the only Too Faced product that I'm gonna buy for a very long time, but I needed it. It was, I was blown away. You could rub the glitter and it wouldn't come off. Like, what do you mean by that? I'm, I'm shook. Really nice for shimmer eyeshadows as well as glitters. I use it today with this glitter. Speaking of glitters, if you're wondering what I'm wearing on my eye right now, it is the Makeup Forever. Hi, I'm Marika from the future here. I um, just found out that Makeup Forever is not cruelty free, so I'll be cutting this part out because if it ain't cruelty free, I ain't talking about it. Thanks! Oh my goodness, I forgot my cleanser! Okay, so the actual cleanser is in my bathroom, but the Kate Somerville Exfolicate Daily Foaming Cleanser is probably my favorite thing that I bought at Sephora. It is amazing. I... cat hair. I am obsessed with this. Like, it's changed my life. I love it so much. It's the nicest cleanser. You need, like, the pea-sized amount. And that's it. That's it. And it's amazing. <sighs> Sorry, I'm getting heart palpitations by how much I like that. Moving on to NYX. I bought two things from them. Not two things, but, like, you know what I mean? So the first thing is uh, I built my own palette. I wanted to get their Brights palette, but because it was Pride Weekend, they had all sold out. 
So I made my own. And the deal was that if I bought nine shadows, they were all $5 each Canadian, then I would get the actual empty palette for free, and this is like $12 or something like that. So I'm like, yes, I will definitely do that because I came here to win and spend money, and I'm gonna do it. So I got a white just for like a nice base, a couple yellow shades, gold, a couple, oh, this is a green, green, blue, blue, purple, and pink. So this one I believe is Dollface, Volatile, Mermaid. I don't remember any of the other ones. But yeah, these are, um, most of them are the prismatic shadows, and I'm really excited to play around with these. I do have a little bit on my eyes right now. I do, I was playing around with this guy right here. I think it's just like caramel something. But I did get this. I did get this, and I have this guy here in my inner corners. So I got these guys, which is awesome, and I also got the number 26 brush that I've been using for a highlighter. Uh, apparently this is supposed to be a dupe for the highlight brush from Anastasia that everybody's crazy about. And I wanted to get it, but then I was like, I can get this. And I really like how it tapers. I don't know if you can see that. In the center for easy gripping. And I really like how this disposes, disposes, deposits the product onto my cheekbones, onto my nose, onto my cupid's bow. Really do enjoy this. Now last, but certainly not least, are the things that I got from Urban Outfitters. Um, I did not know that they sold Batiste there. I had never been into an Urban Outfitters store prior to this weekend. So, I got the Batiste dry shampoo in the Smell Sweetie because I have never seen it before and I'm like, I'm interested. And it smells like vanilla and like sweet stuff, so I'm like, I want this. So I bought it. It's all cruelty free and vegan and that is amazing and I love it so much. Yeah, it smells really sweet and I really enjoy that. Almost coconutty. Yeah, I smell a bit of coconut in there. It's gonna be good. It's gonna be a good one to use for sure. And the last thing, the final thing in this entire haul is the Mario Badescu Rose Water Spray. And once again, Aspen, girl, you got me. This is an amazing recommendation. It smells amazing. I kinda wanna buy 50 more of these so I never run out and I kinda wanna put them in like every giveaway that I do ever. So that was it for all the makeup that I bought aside from my Generation Beauty stuff. If you wanna see that, I did do like a swag bag haul and that does include the things that I did purchase. So I'll leave that in the description as well if you're interested in that. But other than that, thank you so much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give me a big thumbs up down below and subscribe. It's free. You'll be notified when I upload every time I upload. As soon as I upload, who wouldn't want that? <laughs> and if you'd like, you can also press that bell button next to the subscribe button. That'll just let you know on the dot when your favorite girl uploads a new video. <laughs> that was a little bit self-centered of me. Oh. <laughs> They're fireworks. It's Canada Day on the weekend, and I definitely thought those were gunshots, and I was very shook. I'm gonna wait for those to stop very quickly. Woo! <laughs> Leave me a comment down below. What is your favorite product at the moment? Because I'm always interested. What are your favorite cruelty-free things? Oh my gosh, yes, tell me. Because I'm always looking for new stuff. Who does that on a Thursday? If anything, do it tomorrow. Anyways, I'm going to get this in before the fireworks start again, but thank you all so, so, so much for watching as always, and I will see you all next time. Bye! Kai says bye as well. <laughs>